What up YouTube Empire Comics here, finally back with a new video. These are books that I ordered from January 28th until about two weeks ago. So I'm gonna open up all the boxes, put them all to the side and go through them with you. I have some hot keys, some low budget specs, some new comic book day books and a whole lot more. All right, let's just jump into it. Let's get the first box here. I use a steak knife, I can't find my box cutter. One stack. Two stacks. One. Next one. Well, as you can see, I got a whole lot of books. So this is gonna be a really long video. I'm gonna try to go through them really quick. All right, so I opened them all up, separated them from like newer books to like the old spec books that I have so I could go through them with you. So these two piles, these were books that were released in the last five to six weeks when I started ordering. And these are just older books. So let's just get to it. All right, I'm gonna do this stack here. All right, up first we have DC versus Vampire issue five of 12. I really like this uh, series. Then we have Robin issue 11. I think I'm dropping it after this one. But I definitely had to get this one for the cover buy. This is uh, cover B. Sweet cover. And I have another uh, Justice League Incarnate issue 4. And the uh, variant. And I got two of the Suicide Squad King Shark issue 6. The cover B. Well, I thought I had two. It's one of those. Uh, Robin's issue 4B, the Jim Bartel variant. Then I have Justice League 72 cover B. Catwoman issue 40, the Jimmy Frizen variant. Y'all know I'm collecting those. Got two of those. Then I have Strange Love Adventures issue 1. This is the first appearance of Eagly from um, Peacemaker Show. Picked up two of those. And then I have Action Comics 1040, the variant. Thought that was pretty cool. Nubia and the Amazons issue one. This is the Souza Micah cover. Souza Micah has been hot recently doing them Catwoman uh, covers. Got two of those. All right, that's all for DC. All right, now for the indies. Uh, back when this first came out, Newbie Comics put me up on this. This is Killer Affairs of the State issue one. So I'm looking forward to reading that, see what's it about. I got Land of the Living Gods, issue one. Primo's issue one. I've been really looking forward to this one. Then I have These Damn Kids, issue one. I don't think this is a new book though, but I, either way. All right, Saturday Morning Adventure, G.I. Joe, The Real American Hero. Definitely had to pick this one up. I heard good things about it. I have Radio Apocalypse, issue two. Finally got this one. All right, this is a straight up cover buy. This is Jacqueline issue one. This is the one in seven Jimmy Braxton variant. Then I have Sheena, Queen of the Jungle issue three, the uh, Rose Best variant. Then I have Red Sonia Valentine special issue zero, the Souza Micah variant. Got two of those. This one's a cover buy for me, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue 16. We got all the Rangers, we got the Dragon Zord. Had to pick this one up. Then I have the Virgin variant and another variant. I just thought this one looked cool with the Rangers. And I got Bolero issue two. Issue one, I really liked. So I wanna read this and see how it goes. And I have Step by Bloody Step issue one from Image Comics. You know, you gotta get all them image number ones cause they're not doing any second printing right now. Crossover issue 11. And we got King of Spies issue two. Then we got from Radiant Black, Super Massive, issue one. Picked up three of those. Then I have another Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser, 
Halcyon Legacy Issue 1. This has a few first appearances. I always butcher Star Wars names. And I got some variants. And I have Star Wars Crimson Rain Issue 2, the Raza variant. These are connected, I believe. And I have another Aliens issue, or this is this issue nine. This is another Raza variant cover. Got two of those. These did really well on my whatnot. If you guys still like them, hit me up. All right, then we got Dark Ages issue 2A. I was missing the cover A, so I wanted to get this one. It also has the first cover of Miles with like a hybrid Venom Carnage symbiote on there. All right, continuing for Marvel, we got Shang-Chi issue 9, cover A. And like I said, guys, these are all new books that came out in the last few weeks that I finally just got. Captain Marvel issue 36A. Miles Morales issue 35. We got Iron Man issue 17. This was a straight cover by, like that cover there. All right, then we got Carnage Forever issue one with the first appearance of Elsie who bonded with Carnage. All right, up next is The Thing issue four. This is the cover B variant. All right, then we got X Lies of Wolverine. This is issue two, the Mark Bagley trading card variant. I don't know, man, I feel like I always collect these trading card variants because it reminds me of my childhood when I was collecting the trading cards. Then we have the uh, spoiler variant for X Deaths of Wolverine issue one. Then we have X Deaths of Wolverine issue three, this cover A. And I've been looking forward to getting these books for so long. X Deaths of Wolverine issue three, this is another variant. And X Deaths number three, the trading card variant. All right, here's another one I was looking forward to get. This is uh, X-Men issue seven, the new headshot variants with Rogue. Picked up two of those. Then we got X-Men issue eight. And the X-Men issue eight trading card variant with uh, Laura King Go Green. This one, I'm almost positive I already have it. This is Amazing Spider-Man issue 88. This is the first appearance of the Queen Goblin. All right, then I have issue 89 with the second appearance of Queen Goblin and her origin. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man issue 90, continuing that. Then we got Ben Riley Spider-Man issue two. And then I bought the, uh, the variant. Picked up two of those. We got Black Panther issue four. I like how the app says Tosin is not in this issue. Like that's the key for that. Then I got this sweet variant. All right, next we got Moon Knight issue seven. This is cover A. And I got some more of these Raza variants. Pretty cool. Now that we're getting the Moon Knight series and he's gonna be dressed as Mr. Knight. I'm sure people are gonna want these. All right, this one is another one I'm looking forward to. This is Ghost Rider issue one, the new series. Then I have the Peach Momoko variant. Yeah, I know I'm a peach head, sorry. Then I have the uh, Ryan Stegman wraparound variant. This one's pretty cool. With all the Ghost Riders on there. Picked up two of those. Then I have the Scotty Young variant. It's pretty funny. Picked up two of those. All right, now we got Maestro World War M issue one. Um, there's a specific reason why I picked this one up. I just can't remember. I got two of them. And I have the uh, design variant with the new uh, design for uh, Abomination. All right, then I have She-Hope issue one, the Jen Bartel variant. Picked up two, three of those for my whatnot. We have the Art Germ variant. Some of y'all were asking for those. Then we have Silk issue one. This is the Inya Klee cover A, right? Yeah, Inya Klee cover A. And Silk Issue 2, thought it was a cool variant. All right, and this one I picked up thanks to the homie newbie. Put me onto it, I forgot about it. This is Electra Black, White, and Red Issue 2. Got two of those. Next I got Thor Issue 22. Continuing the whole Gone Tempest story arc. We got this variant, 
which is pretty cool. All right, I got another Venom issue four. This is a Tom McFarlane homage variant. So yeah. All right, then I got Venom issue five with the first appearance of the Kings in Black. Also the first full appearance of Bedlam. Got one, two of those. All right, next I got Death of Doctor Strange issue three. This has the first appearance of the child of the three mothers and the first cover of the three mothers. Picked up two of those. All right, this one I was missing, Silver Surfer Rebirth issue one. This is the cover A. We got a second one of that. And then we have Silver Surfer Rebirth issue two with Thanos. All right, now we got Avengers 52 with the first cover appearance of the new Masters of Evil, or the multi-dimensional Masters of Evil. Okay, here we go. Avengers 53, this was hot a while ago. This has the first appearance of the Red Panther. Got one, two of those. Avengers Forever issue one. This is cover A. I was missing this one. This has the first team appearance of the War Machines, first Iron Ant, and the first cover of Captain Carter. Right there. And I got the Donovan variant with uh, Scarlet Witch. Picked up two of those. We got Avengers Forever issue three. This has the first full appearance of that uh, new Moon Knight. Uh, these I was missing out, so I wanted to grab them. This is the Avengers Tech on Tech issue one, but this is the Peach Momoko variant. I didn't grab the Momokos when they first came out. This issue two, the other Momoko variant. All right, last for new books. This is uh, Black Widow issue seven with the first appearance of Epigy, and also Lucy Nugent is revealed to have powers. All right, with all the new books out of the way, let's get into the fun stuff. This is all my spec books that I was getting for the last seven weeks. Let's start off with the top here. All right, the first one I have here is X-Men the Movie, the premiere prequel edition, the Toys R Us special, issue one. That has the first time we see the Fox's X-Men in the comic. So I grab two, three of those. And then I have another X-Men the Movie special edition from Toys R Us, issue one. I thought this one was the first appearance, but when I checked, the other one came out first. But I got two, three, four, and five. Now I have X-Men the movie issue one, the regular, no special, no premiere, no preview one. This is just the regular one. And X-Men the movie Wolverine, the pre prequel. All right, the next one I have is Infinity issue 4A. Talked about this one a while ago. It has the first appearance or first full appearance of uh, Thanos' son Thane's uh, new form or final form. And this one right here is just a cover by. This is Captain America issue one. I'm sorry, 21. It's a cool Alex Ross cover. And issue 21, but the Captain America zombie uh, edition. Let's grab the next pile here. All right, now I got Fantastic Four issue 570, the headshot variant. This has the first appearance of the Council of Reeds. All right, this is a cover by Black Panther issue 170 with the new Fantastic Four on the cover there. Pick that up. And then we have a Black Panther issue 11, the variant. Just thought it was a cool cover. All right, here I have War of the Realms, Tony Stark issue 12. This has the first appearance of the third Eye of Agamotto. All right, this was a cover by, this was Marvel Zombies Resurrection. It just has Professor X of the zombie on the cover. Before the speculation for Multiverse of Madness and looking like we have a Doctor Strange zombie or a Wanda zombie, figured why not pick this up for the low. Again, guys, all these books were all under $10. They were from around two bucks to seven eights. I have Agents of Atlas issue one. This has the first team appearance of the Agents of Atlas, heroes who operated around the 1950s. We got two of those. This next one, I really doubt you're gonna find this for under $10. I was lucky enough to grab this literally the last week of January. This is Moon Knight issue 35. This has the first full appearance of Randall Spector, Moon Knight's brother. I had this one in one of my spec videos back in January, but now this is going for like $30. Then we have Ghost Rider, Johnny Blaze, Spirits of Vengeance issue one. Y'all remember this from the 90s? And I have another one of these, uh, Realm of Kings. Is it Realm of Kings? Yeah, Realm of Kings issue one with the first appearance of the Cancerverse. 
and the first appearance of the Revengers. The cancel verse is kind of like deals with the zombies. Got two of those. Alright, this was another one that I picked up when I was on Newbie Show. This is Marvel Knights Marvel Boy Genesis Edition. This has the two first appearance of Marvel Boy, if you want to use this, versus his uh, issue one. This one came out a few months before. So I got two, three, four of those. Then I got Avengers vs. X-Men issue one. This is uh, cover A, first print. All right, next we got Avengers, the Terminatrix of it, uh, Objective, issue one. This has the first full appearance of, uh, what's his name? Uh, Elioth, the that smoke monster from Loki. Not sure if he's gone or gonna come back. It also had the first appearance of King Swatch and like two other Kings. Oh, I picked up another new Avengers issue 10. This has the first appearance of the 1959 Avengers, which has Sabretooth, Craven, Dominic, Fortune, Omara, Ulysses, Bloodstone, and Silver Sable. All right, next we have Secret Empire issue four. In this issue, one that gets possessed by Cthulhu. I'll put it somewhere here so you can see the panel. Yeah, picked up two of those. All right, next we have West Coast Avengers issue 21. This is when Moon Knight joins the West Coast Avengers. All right, then we got West Coast Avengers issue 82. This has the first team appearance of the Death of Death Web. This, they're kind of tied to Julia Comforter, uh, Spider Woman. Picked up two of those. All right, now we have some America Chavez issue one. This is the second print. This has the first cameo for Sister Catalina and the first appearance of the Santanas, which is her uh, adopted family. It also has uh, America Chavez's new origin in it. So I picked up two of, the, two of those of the second print. And I have a variant. And another variant for that one. All right, then I have Young Avengers issue three. Just was covered by America Chavez on there. All right, what we got here next? Spirits of Ghost Rider, Mother of Demons issue one. This is Lilith's first series, and her also shows her new form. Picked up two of those. All right, I got another Earth X issue four with the first appearance of uh, Clea as a Sorcerer Supreme. All right, this one here is Anita Blake, Vampire Hunter. Guilty Pleasures Handbook Issue 1. I believe this is her first appearance in Marvel Comics. With all the vampire and horror stuff they got going, we might see her. All right, and this one right here, this was on the Pressable Defects a while ago. I was able to pick it up when they did a uh, special for the uh, Spec for Multiverse of Madness. This is Hellstrom, Son of Satan, Issue 3. This has the first full appearance of the Egyptian god Amu, a new one sub conscious fight uh, Moon Knight. And I think they've already uh, confirmed that we might have him in the series. So I got two, three, four of those. All right, next I have Monsters Unleashed, issue one, back from 2017. This has the first full appearance of Kid Kaiju, and also they team up with Elsa Bloodstone. I got two of those. All right, next I have Thor Annual 10. This has the first appearance of a few gods, but I picked this one up again for the first appearance of one of the Egyptian gods that might be shown in the Moon Knight series. I forget the name. I'll put it somewhere down here. All right, this next one, y'all have seen me talk about this a lot. Thor issue 705. This is as the death of Jane Foster. Thor, this is when uh, Jane Foster throws Munior into the sun, which eventually bonds with Mangog. The whole mess going on in the new Thor story. Got two more of those. All right, then we have Exiles, issue one. This has the first cover appearance of the new Mighty Valkyrie, first appearance of Khan, an older version of Kamala Khan, first, and the first appearance of the tiny the Kang that took over Galactus' body or something like that. Haven't really read it yet. But I got two, three, four of those just for Valkyrie. Then we have Mighty Valkyrie, issue one, the first appearance of the Cradle of Life. And I think she had, I think in this one she gets named. Got two, three of those. All right, and continuing the Thor 3 spec, this is Battle War Thors, issue one. This has the first appearance of this Thor corpse and the first appearance of Thor the Unworthy. Got two of those. And I have Generations Unworthy Thor and Mighty Thor issue one. And this one is revealed that Odin and the Phoenix Force had a relationship which retconned the whole uh, Thor's mother. And you know, later on they're saying that the Phoenix Force is Thor's mother. So I got two of those. 
right, next I got Axe Guardians of the Galaxy issue one. I know people forgot about this one, but Thor did say in the end of Endgame, uh, as Guardians of the Galaxy, so maybe they'll do something. This has Angela and some other people in it. So I got two more of those. All right, this one is Ultimates issue two. This is the cover A. This has the first reference to Reed Richards as the maker. So I have two, three, Picked up four of those that were cheap. I think they were actually under $2. And then I have the second print. Picked up two of those. All right, this is a pretty cool one for Thor, Love and Thunder. This is War of the Realms issue six. This has the first appearance of, I'm gonna mess this up, Undrogen. Mess that up. Jane Foster's new weapon, the All Weapon. It's a magical weapon made from shards of Minyor and it can transform into other weapons. And this one, Thor becomes the All Father. And I think there's a new hammer, the Black Hammer or something in this one. I forget, but I'll put all the info here somewhere on the side. So I picked up two, three, four of those of cover A. Then I picked up two of uh, cover B. I think that's cover B. Um, this one is cover F. Looking, Thor looking cool there. And then this is cover G that has Jane Foster on there with the uh, the new all weapon, the first cover of Jane Foster with the all weapon. All right, let's continue here. We got Kill Switch issue one. I think this is the first cover of uh, Souls of Mica. Couldn't find anything earlier than that. If you guys know one earlier, let me know. I would really love to get it. But I picked up uh, two of those. And then I picked up cover B, which is also by Souls of Mica. All right, this next one is Comics Interview issue six. Uh, with all the JLA Avengers talk, I got it because of that there. Not sure if it's really worth anything or if it will be, but figure why not get it for the low. All right, this next one is from Peacemaker Spec. I'm not sure if it's gonna work out. I think I messed up on this one. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see in season two. This is Superman issue 671. This has the first appearance of the Insect Queen. It could be the leader of the bugs that were in Peacemaker. So when I thought it was her, I picked up a few of those for them. All right, this one I needed to put back in my PC because I sold the last one. This is Batman issue 108, the cover B with uh, first appearance of uh, Miracle Molly. Might be the first cover as well of Miracle Molly. I have to double check on that. This is the uh, art germ variant as well. All right, you guys know I'll be collecting these 80s, 90s properties. Sometimes a little bit older, but just nostalgia buys. This is New Adventures of Speed Racer issue one. No, it's not the first appearance of Speed Racer in the comic, but I wanted to get a Speed Racer number one. This is the Simpsons comic issue one. Then another one here, this is from the anime back in the day, Area 88. The anime came out like 83, I think. Then we got Garfield issue one. Is it just Garfield? Yeah, Garfield issue one from Boom Studios. Might be the first comic of Garfield, not 100%. All right, there's another fresh one, Kid and Play issue one. Check out that high top fade. Uh, Mr. T and the T-Force issue one. This is Mr. T's first solo comic. His first appearance in the comic was in that 18 comic book. All right, now we got here Star Wars Age of the Republic Jango Fett. This has the origin of Bubba Fett when he was with his dad when he was younger. His dad is Jango Fett. All right, this one I just needed for the PC because I was missing it for the run. Star Wars Darth Vader issue four. All right, now we got Miss Marvel Beyond the Limit issue two. This has the first appearance of Karin, uh, Kamala Khan's doppelganger. All right, this next one here, might be a little sensitive subject now because the actor just recently passed, but this is US Avengers issue one. This has the first appearance of the US Avengers, it has a few other stuff, but I got it because it has the first appearance of the new Red Hulk. Forget the guy's name, but he's another general in the army. With General Ross, or the guy's real name, I forget his real name, uh, his real name, I can't remember his real name at the moment, but he recently just passed away. So given him that news, maybe they'll use this Red Hulk instead. All right, now I have all new, all different Marvel Point One. This has the first appearance of Blind Spot, uh, Daredevil's uh, sidekick. The first appearance of Iron Ward, who was, who was in uh, Agents of Shield. Then I have Daredevil issue one from the fifth series. This has the second appearance of Blind Spot and the first cover appearance. You see him right there in the cover. I picked up two of those. And I got Daredevil Annual Issue 1. This one's from the 7th series. This has an updated origin of Daredevil. 
and with Kingpin coming to the MCU, I went out and got Kingpin issue one. This, this is his first solo series in an origin of Kingpin. All right, this next one, when I got it, a lot of us thought this was the first meeting of Spider-Man and Moon Knight. This is Amazing Spider-Man 220, but it's just an early team up of them, but it goes to my grail run of Amazing Spider-Man that I'm collecting. All right, up next, I try to get the full set of the 2017 series of the Defenders. Um, I got from one through 10, but I'm missing, uh, I believe issue four. That's issue one, issue two, issue three, Punisher on the cover there. Then it's five, because I'm missing four. Six, seven, eight, nine. Look at all those people on the cover, that's pretty cool. And issue 10. All right, up next, y'all don't laugh. I know when I put this on my top 10 spec a while ago, it was kind of funny, but given that they're saying uh, Chris Evans is coming back for a small role, and we know there's a Halloween special coming. We have Captain America 405 with the first appearance of Cap Wolf. And then I have Captain America issue 12 from the seventh series. This has the first appearance of Iron Nail. He's the guy who took away Captain America the super soldier serum, which led to Falcon turning to uh, Captain America. All right, next I have uh, West Coast Avengers issue, what is this, issue 85 with the uh, death, death, death Web. I got two of those. All right, now I got a New Avengers issue one. This has the first appearance of the Black Swan. Got two of those. No, I'm sorry, three of those. With the whole multiverse and maybe an incursions and all that, who knows what's going on in Multiverse of Madness. Why not pick it up for the low? Maybe we'll see it. Then we have New Avengers issue five from the same run. This has the first appearance of the Black Priest chronologically. You know, the, the team or the group. Got two of those. Then next is New Avengers issue six. Not sure why I picked this one up. Gotta double check, I'll put it somewhere uh, below. Can't remember now. Then I got New Avengers issue seven. This is when uh, Wakanda declares war on uh, Atlantis. Got two of those. Next I got Mighty Avengers issue three. This is when Boom Marvel joins the Avengers. Also Power Man, the newer Power Man, and the newer White Tiger join the Avengers in this one. And they fight Shura Gorath. We got two of those. And then we have Mighty Avengers issue 27. But I got this one for the first appearance of the Infinite Avengers Mansion. Maybe that's where uh, Doctor Strange meets the Illuminati in, in this uh, Infinite Avengers Mansion for the multiverse. So I got two, three of those, and the two of the variants. Next one I was lucky to grab once the Multiverse of Madness trailer dropped and everybody was speculating on that superior Iron Man or they didn't know who that character was. As soon as the little hint of maybe Maria Rambo, I jumped on Avengers issue 246, which has the first appearance of Maria Rambo. Um, I got this for like 225, got two of them. I know you can't find that for that price anymore, but that's why you gotta jump on her as soon as you hear some news. Uh, then I have Avengers issue 500. And this one wanted to make some Ultron robots that uses them to fight against Avengers, even kill a few of them. And also has the first appearance of the Jack of Hearts. Put it over here somewhere. So I got two, three, four of those. Next we have Guardians of the Galaxy from the third series, issue five. This has the first appearance of Angela in Marvel Comics. Picked up two of those. All right, next we got X-Men, Uncanny X-Men, issue 316, and the first appearance of Hardis. Uh, then I have Generation X, issue one. Got two of those. All right, next we got Iceman, issue three. This has the first appearance of Oblivion. He's a cosmic entity uh, who predates the multiverse. He's the progenitor of death. So I got two, got three of those. Then we got Avengers issue 503. This has the death of Agatha Harkness. It also has a summary of what led to Wanda going nuts and it has the first mention of chaos magic. All right, this one right here, this is Marvel Team Up issue 21 from 1972. This has the first appearance of the Crystal of Cadavis. We saw this in No Way Home. That's that little uh, 
crystal cube that uh, Doctor Strange put the spell in that Peter messed up. We also saw it in uh, the Doctor Strange episode of What If. I'll put that here somewhere so you can see that. All right, now we got Doctor Strange issue 15. This has the first appearance of Doctor Strange's brother, Victor Strange. And also something with the cover. Uh, this is an actual real lady or something that she sued Marvel for uh, them using her likeness on the cover there. Then we got Doctor Strange issue 17 with the first cover of Rintra. He's laying down back there somewhere. It also has the origin of Marvel zombies in the Marvel Universe that were created by Cthulhu. Picked up two of those. Then we got Doctor Strange issue 53. And this one, Nightmare Possesses Doctor Strange. I got this one uh, from uh, watching Keep It Thorough's comics. Got two of those. All right, next we got Doctor Strange issue 22. I can't remember why I picked this one up. Maybe it's for the cover, but in this issue, got two of them. Baron Mordo doesn't become the Sorcerer Supreme, so I'm not sure why I got it. I think there's a death in there or something. Then we got Doctor Strange issue 11. That was a pretty cool cover with the Doctor Strange and the bandages and all that. All right, then I got from 1974, Doctor Strange issue 11. Just thought it was a pretty cool uh, issue. I have Doctor Strange going up against like some of his other selves or past selves. Right, and this one we have Doctor Strange issue 382. This has the death of Bats the Dog for the first appearance. I forget the issue number. Uh, I know I got it somewhere. It has like Loki um, dressed as the Social Supreme on the cover. That's the first appearance of Bats the Dog. Then we have Doctor Strange issue 385. This has the first appearance of Bats the Dog as a ghost. And the last one we have is Doctor Strange Damnation issue 2. We've got cover A and cover B. Spoke about these before. I got a few of these already, but this has the first appearance of the new uh, Midnight Suns, which is right on there. Let me see both. All right, guys, there you have it. That's all the books I have for this huge haul. I know it was a pretty long video, so thanks for sticking to the end of the video. Let me know what you thought about the books in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about the spec. You think it's pretty good? You think it stinks? These are dollar spec books that you could have gotten for the low before. A lot of these are still fairly cheap, so don't give up on trying to find them. So you know what I say, bro. Keep hunting. Later.